the Greenland shark has the ability to survive in the frigid waters of the Arctic in part due to a unique biological antifreeze system. This remarkable adaptation prevents their body fluids from freezing in sub-zero temperatures, allowing them to survive in the icy cold waters where other species would struggle. The key to this adaptation lies in the high concentration of a compound called trimethylamine N-oxide inside the shark's tissue and bodily fluids. This compound acts as a natural antifreeze by lowering the freezing point of the shark's body temperature, preventing ice crystal formation. This can be compared to the antifreeze humans put in their cars to regulate the engine temperature when it's cold outside. The Greenland shark is the world's longest living vertebrate with their estimated lifespan being between 270 and 500 years. One theorized reason for this is because of their remarkably slow growth rate, with some individuals growing less than a centimeter per year at certain points in their life. It's a feature that's not commonly found in other shark species and they have an incredibly slow metabolism which reduces their energy requirements. This characteristic is an adaptation that allows them to survive in a nutrient-poor, deep-sea environment with minimal food intake. The increased lifespan is likely a byproduct of this adaptation necessary for their environment. These sharks reach sexual maturity at an exceptionally late age of around 150 years old. The delayed maturity coupled with their slow growth contributes to their extended lifespan. After reaching sexual maturity, the female Greenland sharks likely have a relatively infrequent reproductive cycle, spanning years between pregnancies. When born, these babies are 40 centimeters or 15.5 inches. By the time they're sexually mature at 150 years old, they are about 4 meters or 13 feet in length. The eyes of the Greenland shark often have a cloudy appearance due to the presence of a parasitic copepod called Amidocoida. These copepods attach themselves to the shark's cornea, affecting the clarity of the eye, leading to a cloudy look. The parasite reduces their vision and can cause blindness. It seems the sharks don't rely too much on their eyesight for survival, and it's speculated but not verified that the parasites might be bioluminescent, attracting prey and serving as a benefit to the shark. When consumed fresh, the high concentration of trimethylamine can cause symptoms of toxicity in other animals. The meat is known to cause similar effects to alcohol poisoning and can induce symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, or disorientation. Due to the potential toxic effects of consuming the Greenland shark meat, it is generally considered unsafe for humans and other animals. However, some people in the Arctic regions hunt the Greenland shark and dry their meat out over a period of months, breaking down the toxic compounds. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you want to hear more animal facts like this.